VT Technology Management Utilities for Hyper-V can be used to manage Microsoft Hyper-V on Windows Server 2008 R2, Hyper-V Server 2008 R2, Windows Server 2012, and Hyper-V Server 2012. In this demo, we will show you how to use VT Utilities to manage all versions of Hyper-V using Windows 7, Windows 8, and by running VT Utilities locally on Guilas Hyper-V Server 2012. I'm installing VT Utilities on a Windows 8 machine, which has the Hyper-V platform enabled on the Windows 8 client. You can install VT Utilities on 64-bit Windows 8 machines without Hyper-V enabled. To remotely manage Hyper-V on both Windows Server 2008 R2 or Windows Server 2012 with Hyper-V role enabled, as well as Hyper-V on free Hyper-V Server 2008 R2 and Hyper-V Server 2012. Installation doesn't take long, even on this low-end notebook model with slow performance that I'm using for this demo. VT utilities are installed and connected to the Hyper-V services running on this notebook. You can see that the VT utilities functionality level is adjusted for Hyper-V services running on the desktop platform, so some features such as replication and live migration with the respective configuration options are not available for this local instance of Hyper-V. Nevertheless, some new functionality introduced in Hyper-V version 3 is available. It also includes support of virtual networks through wireless network adapters. Now I'm going to connect VT Utilities to the remote Hyper-V 2012 server. We have access to all functionality introduced in Hyper-V version 3, including support of GPU configuration for remote FX, live migration, and replication. Replication can be enabled, configured, and explored at virtual machine level using VT Utilities. All Hyper-V version 3 functionality is supported and can be accessed using VT Utilities. We just mentioned some of these features, but I can also access virtual fiber channel features such as configuration of the virtual SANS and management of the virtual fiber channels adapters. New VHDX format is supported along with the new virtual disk functionality introduced in Hyper-V version 3. I can manage older versions of Hyper-V using the same instance of VT Utilities, or I can launch a new instance and connect it to the Hyper-V Server 2008 R2. In this case, the VT Utilities user interface was adjusted to reflect a reduced functionality level. All new features introduced in Hyper-V version 3 are not available on this platform but I can still remotely manage Hyper-V Server 2008 R2 from my Windows 8 desktop using VT Utilities. Now I want to demonstrate how VT Utilities can be used to manage both Hyper-V Server 2008 R2 and Hyper-V Server 2012 from Windows 7. The only requirement is to enable remote management functionality on Hyper-V or Windows Server. There is no Hyper-V running locally, so VT Utilities shows a warning explaining that I have to connect to the remote server to manage Hyper-V. Now I'm connected to the remote Hyper-V server 2008 R2 that we saw before, which I can manage remotely, including access to Hyper-V event logs. I can also use the same instance to connect to the remote Hyper-V 2012 server. VT Utilities can be used to manage Hyper-V servers which are not members of the same or trusted domains. 
In case my session credentials are not authorized to access the remote server, I will be prompted to enter credentials that can be used to manage the remote server. Now I'm connected to the remote Hyper-V server 2012, and VT Utilities user interface was adjusted to support all new functionality introduced in Hyper-V version 3, as we saw before. There are cases when remote management or a diagnostic of Hyper-V server or Windows Server Core installation with Hyper-V role enabled is impossible for different reasons, such as communication problems. In that case, you can install VT Utilities directly on the free Hyper-V Server 2012 or Hyper-V Server 2008 R2 you will get fully functioning management GUI to manage Hyper-V locally in a matter of minutes and will be able to review the Hyper-V event log, virtual network configuration, as well as host and guest performance using the VT Utilities user interface. Further, you can change Hyper-V host configuration, edit virtual machine settings, or create new virtual machines using local management user interface. VT Technology Management Utilities for Hyper-V is a valuable tool that allows administrators to manage Microsoft Hyper-V locally or remotely from 64-bit Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows Server 2008, or Windows Server 2012. Visit vtutilities.com for more information about this product.